all to today's webinar. So today is 10th day of our 22 actions for biodiversity and today's action is by biodiversity friendly products. Uh, to talk on this, we have with us today, uh, Dr. Harpreet Kaur, Head, uh, Department of Fashion Design, KMV College, Jalandhar. Uh, Dr. Harpreet, I warmly welcome you on behalf of Pushpa Gujral Science City. Uh, I would like to share with you that a 22-day campaign has been launched by Pushpa Gujral Science City to celebrate International Biodiversity Day. Uh, we are undertaking this campaign with 22 actions as specified by Convention for Biological Diversity. Uh, these actions will culminate to celebration of International Biodiversity Day on May 22nd. Uh, we have involved about 30 schools and colleges in this campaign. Uh, so, dear participants, Dr. Harpreet will be talking about sensible buying. And now I invite you, madam, to please deliver your talk. Over to you, Dr. Harpreet. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lavleen. Uh, Science City has been very kind, and you especially, and DG ma'am, have been kind to uh, think that I'll be able to do ju justice to this topic. So, uh, without much ado, uh, let's start with the presentation. So, is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am, it is visible. You know. Let me put it on full screen. Slide show the karlo, ma'am. Ha, slide show to kar diya. Five kar rahi so, ho ni liya. Is it in slide show mode now? Yes, yes, it is in slide show mode. Right, right, right. So, a very warm good evening to all the participants today. So the topic for uh, the action that is decided for the 10th day today, it is a very wonderful initiative uh, taken by the concerned authorities. And I'm very happy to know that 30 schools and colleges are participating in it. So the uh, so action is about buying biodiversity friendly products. That is in short, it should be sensible buying. So moving on. We all know that there is only one planet, right? There is no planet B. And if we, and as per data, we have already used, uh, humne, uh, is English okay, Dr. Lovely? Half of yes, Hindi or English? Yes, ma'am, yes, English. Right, 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 English, right. So as per data available, we have one Earth, but we have used more than one earth and how much more 30 percent more that is we have used 1.3 earths already i mean if earth could give us one packet we have already taken 30 percent more right so we have been very very greedy so let's stop this greed and start sensible behavior and when we know that fashion designing or fashion industry, textile industry, is the number two polluter of the planet Earth, second only to the oil industry. So our fresh water is all full of discharges from these textile leather industries, and it is full, fully loaded with toxic chemicals, which was See the very peri, right? So very peri, you can see color. over here in the slide. You can see which fashion color is there, right? From rivers of China, and in India too, this is happening. Now, what do we need to do? First of all, we need to understand the term carbon footprint. Uh, whenever we do buying any 
activity. We are generating carbon footprint. It is the carbon dioxide gases and similar gases which heat up the earth, which we need to stop. So every small action, even the small action like sending a WhatsApp message consumes energy. So we have to be very, very cautious on how we are creating a carbon footprint. Like when we are buying uh, sensible, uh, we are buying things which have less carbon emissions when we eat vegetarian food. So when we are buying vegetarian instead of non-veg, we are also reducing the carbon footprint. If we are using the cycle to go to a certain place instead of the car or the uh, you know air miles, if we add, then the carbon footprint gets increased. Now we all understand what recycling is. You know, we all know what recycling is, that we had something, now it is no longer of use, but we are trying to re, you know, use it in a, but it is of a lower value, lower form, right? And this is, we use this term reuse, recycle, yes, reduce. These are the three R mantras that we have been given since the 90s. But now a new term has come that is upcycling that we should buy. We should upgrade the value, give the uh, product a second life. Now, when we have, uh, you know, when we manage uh, the fabric waste that comes out. So what we have to do is there are five things written on the screen. Can anybody tell me? Koi mujhe bata sakta hai kya likha hua hai? Ke waste karna hi nahi hai, wo sabse preferable cheez hai. Nake or dispose of kardena, throw karna, least uh, sensible. So, aap ye dekhe, jo even hum cheese karite, uska jo packaging material hai. Humne wo bhi dekhna hai ke jase aajkal aap Amazon ke products online, matlab, I mean to say products karite. So, agar wo plastic packing mein aare, if they're coming in plastic packing and you dispose them off because they are of no value to you, right? Then it is not good for the earth. But if you you know, prevent that if it is coming in a packaging which you can reuse, reuse, right? So that is a better thing. Sometimes the packaging comes in only the shoe box with no outer covering. So it, and it has a uh, slip on it, which says, I am, thank you for choosing less packaging, right? So when we are buying, we also have to be aware of packaging, right? Because it is a big killer, this is the circular supply chain buy from manufacturers who will be, you know, selling your product uh, into the uh, circular supply chain means otherwise products are designed for cradle to grave means so that is how our products are made. They are designed for obsolescence. Yes, dead. So that TV it will become uh, bad, it will uh, stop working after five to seven years. So what will happen? You will just throw it. But if it is designed under the uh, circular economy, that is cradle to cradle, vapas pangura means it will keep on going. This principle was given by, you know, it is called as the cherry tree concept. Yes, by William Bogart. And he says that things should keep going on. Cherry tree, jime koi fruit dig there. It does not destroy anything, right? So similarly, we should not destroy anything. Can somebody tell me, do we ever throw like gold or silver? Do we throw it? Ma'am, actually, everyone is on mute. Uh, we haven't given them oh, this okay, option. Okay, okay. <laughs> so they can write in the chat. Uh, that's why I was thinking. Chat has replying. been also disabled. Actually, we will oh, okay. open the chat on and okay, the okay. We'll okay. unmute them during the question answer round. Okay, okay. So let it be a monologue then. So, so what I'm trying to tell you here is that it has to be, you know, nature never, you know, spoils anything. But we are also very smart. The things that we value, the things which are precious, we never throw, right? We never throw gold. We never throw diamonds, right? We never throw copper. The things which we understand are valuable, iron. Right? But the things like plastic, other waste, which we think is very cheap, we keep throwing. So let's be sensible and have production cycles where nothing is thrown. Now let's come to this. This animal is the chiru. 
or the Tibetan antelope. It is, you know, this, uh, it, it lives on the Ladakh and China and Tibet plateau, Tibetan plateau. That's why it is called as the Tibetan antelope. Now this animal, because it lives in this dry desert in very cold conditions with minus 50 degree temperature, so because of this, you know, biodiversity thing, what the authorities thought, it has been so many years now that there has been a ban on, you know, what, how the people used to uh, get the wool from this animal, they used to simply kill it. And for one shawl weighing just a few grams, four to five chirus had to be killed. So do you want to wear something which has you know, which is responsible for the death of four to five uh, innocent animals. But you would have thought that uh, ban lag gaya, to ab stop ho gaya hoga. But there's this recent story of 2022. How bad is it? People have not stopped. So the, uh, the Kolkata, you know, forest officials, just can you check the date? It is January 21st, this year itself, that, you know, people have uh, been caught selling trading in shatush, right? This is the popular ring shawl, jo ring itcho nikal janda si, right? So this is the shawl, but there are other things, you know, so related to this. Uh, similarly, the kangaroo, which is the symbol in, uh, you know, it is their uh, protected animal, their national animal, the roo or the kangaroo as we call it, but uh, again, they are saying, you know, what the leather industry always says, okay, we just are, um, leather is just a byproduct. And because the main animal is being reared for the meat, right? But this is a big fat lie, right? Actually, so many animals are being mercilessly killed for their leather. So there was this, uh, you know, then the next animal that we talk about uh, is... Um, the ivory uh, trade was so bad, right? And animal, uh, uh, the tuskers or the elephants with the tusks were being killed for their, uh, you know, tusks. And for what? It was being, you know, converted to ivory jewelry or other ornamental things. So is it right that you're taking out somebody's tooth to make beautiful jewelry for yourself? Is that understandable? Recently, you know, Africa is negotiating with India. We are, we are trying to get cheetahs back to India. And what they're trying to do is that they're saying, uh, you support us in the uh, this thing, international body that ivory should be allowed. So should India allow it is the question that I'm leaving to you. Should we buy ivory? But then there is, you know, this objection, because when I was searching for Shatush latest, this also, then there is this Kashmir Mehnat Kash Society and the Kashmir Herald. They were asking for, you know, uh, lifting of, of the ban on uh, this uh, Shatush because the uh, people are not getting their livelihood, right? They are suffering. But that's a big fat lie because these people who were rearing, you know, uh, who were weaving the shatu shawl are now weaving the pashmina shawl, which is from the, uh, you know, uh, mountain uh, pashmina uh, goat. So, which is reared by the Bakarwal community over there. So, it is called as capra harkas, right, that goat. So, it is not at all, uh, you know, this is all false. Now, even I will show you for, uh, for these ivory, this thing, there is a substitute. I have the same, see, you can see in the picture, I have the same, th this is now made of camel bone. I have so many articles, see, I especially got them to show you. I have bought them so many years ago. Can you see? So these are the articles that I had. It's a crotchet, this thing, right? The hook is also there. So. And these can be used as brooches. So these are all made with waste uh, camel bones, the camels who die and the buffaloes, right? Buffalo bones are better because they're whiter. So uh, it's not like this that uh, we, we, we are going to die if we do not get into this trade and a certain segment of craftsmen or people are going to dwindle. There are always options available. These uh, people in, indulging in this trade were given an alternative, which was good for the environment also. 
Now there's this documentary which I request all of you to see. Uh, it's called a Slay. And why I've kept the last line on is the it is crowd funded. Why it is crowd funded? Because no government wants to bring this uh, thing into the forefront. Nobody is ready to pay for this and you know expose how cruel the fashion industry is and what is happening. But you know this is the sleigh. Uh, you can see the long leather boots that the lady is wearing, and this is the film about uh, the you know atrocities, atrocities committed by uh, this. Uh, Capelli is the person. She has gone to various countries to make this film. So, but there is hope. We can, you know, push the brands. We can force them when we are sensible buyers. We can, you know, uh, push them that we don't want to buy stuff. It is only when we refuse. Like for, for example, women did not like the corsets, you know, the tight things and the girdles. Yes, in their undergarments. So they refused to buy. There was a revolution, right? So when people decide there can be a revolution. So this is the picture that I'm showing you that 10 top brands had to drop fur, wool and exotic skins. This is a recent, just two days ago, you can you know see this. So I just got it day before this, uh, this thing. So see the big brands like, you know, Dolce & Gabbana, they had to drop uh, drop fur in and are now using eco fur. What is eco fur? It is just a synthetic substitute, right? So again, Armani, you all recognize that big brand. Yes. So Angora, not only Angora wool, but Angora rabbits are also, you know, Angora wool is also got from the rabbits. So that has been dropped. L magazine, it's a big fashion magazine. It said that it will not display anything regarding fur. Then Valentino, we all know he's a very, very big designer, a design house, right? So when we force people, PETA, you know, is that organization, you know, which talks about uh, people for ethical treatment. Yes, uh, it's an organization, people for ethical treatment of animals, right? So when they stood ground, they forced all these big, huge couture houses to drop that. So when we become sensible as consumers, we can force even the richest and the strongest corporates to change. Now, now that fur is no longer there, should we make uh, go the same way for exo exotic skins also? Yes. Now this girl is holding this big crocodile leather bag, right? And skin, uh, the shoes are made uh, with the, you know, skin of uh, the snake and ostrich plumes are used, you know, animals are killed. Um, even the nails of the tiger are pulled out and worn in the neck. So that is also so very gross. So we have to be, when we think about bio biodiversity, we need to look for alternatives. If we want to, you know, uh, wear the beautiful skins of the animals, but we don't have to actually wear them. So what is the option? The, you know, artificial or the vegan leather can be made from cornstarch or from other green substitutes, from so many pineapple fiber, from so many other alternatives, you know. Uh, so you know all about Leonardo Di Caprio, you know, the Titanic boy standing with his arms outstretched. So he is, you know, uh, funding this. He's putting so much money in uh, the grown leather or the vegan leather that it is grown, yes. And the tanning process of leather is so, so very bad, full of chemicals. It's not just bad for the animals, but it is also bad in the amount of overload that we push back into the water, air, and soil loaded with these chemicals. So leather has a huge print. So this is, this is what we are talking about. So this green cultivation of leather is now done with the, uh, you know, luxury market in mind because it is the luxury people who want this, uh, uh, these products. So, you know, plant-based leather, even from Apple, you know, they're redoing it. So, so this is how, you know, the Sustainable uh, Apparel Coalition uh, is working on it. And there are like endless number of, uh, uh, you know, uh, companies, uh, working in this field, right? So moving on,
the the leather trade is very very cruel so we as buyers need to understand you know in india you can see this cow so uh, cows which become which are no, no longer giving milk so we don't want to kill cows here hai right? na we say a certain section of the society say, uh, is very uh, religiously inclined towards the cow so they don't kill the cow what they do is they let it suffer they break the bones the knuckles the tail and it is you know uh, its eyes are uh, chemicals are put in its eyes so that it finally dies is that the way isn't it more cruel so this is you know and it is happening in all parts of the world it is not just happening in one part of the world this is happening everywhere in all the uh, countries pan pan uh, you know uh, asia america the whole world this is happening so now what is the substitute we as buyers what should we buy what is sensible buying first we need to understand fibers ke hamare paas option kya hai so there are you know natural origin eco fibers right organic cotton organic silk what is organic silk it is ahimsa silk ahimsa is no ahimsa uh, right no non violent silk so we all know ki silk hame kahan se milta hai we get it from the uh, silk moth hai na and we have to boil it right alive to get the silk so that because if it comes out then the silk uh, pe gets pierced hai na aur agar wo silk toot jayega तो वो स्पन सिल्क बन जाता है अदरवाइज सिल्क का फाइबर बहुत लंबा होता है है ना सो वी गेट इट वी गेट इट इन द फिलामेंट लेंथ लेकिन अगर उसमें से uh, जो मलबरी का कीड़ा है जो बॉम्बैक्स मोराए है ना जिसको हम बोलते हैं सो so, अगर सिल्क मॉथ जो बाहर आ जाता है सो व्हाट हैपेंस वो ब्रेक हो गया तो वो क्वालिटी ऑफ सिल्क डाउन हो गई उसकी शाइन कम हो जाएगी है ना उसकी लस्टर कम हो जाएगी सो सो बट नाउ वी पीपल आर से लेट इट बी वी विल बाय अहिंसा सिल्क है ना अहिंसा और अहिंसा सो वी विल बाय दैट सिल्क बट और वी विल बाय द वाइल्डली कल्टीवेटेड सिल्क है ना द टसर एज यू नो इट इज बॉट फ्रॉम देयर सो पीपल आर गोइंग टुवर्ड्स दैट नाउ व्हाट इज ऑर्गेनिक कॉटन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि ऑर्गेनिक का हम लोगो देखते हैं हम कहते हैं ये अच्छा है बट इज इट रियली गुड फॉर द अर्थ वी नीड टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड दैट क्योंकि कॉटन एज अ फाइबर इटसेल्फ इज यूजिंग लॉट्स ऑफ वाटर to grow then lots of pesticide is is fasal ke upar bahut keeda bhi lagta hai right so there are better options coming up bamboo is a very fast growing uh, you know uh, this thing fiber and uh, in, it does not need any pesticides it has a very short growth cycle right so people are working towards that so let's support uh, as buyers uh, let's be sensible and truly understand what all these fibers are are they actually eco are they genuinely you know uh, this thing organic even i would tell you you know some types of um, poly, sometimes polyester you know which is a processed uh, uh, fiber uh, which is totally synthetic or rayon which is comes in the semi state you know usme wooden pulp or cotton purane fibers ke andar chemicals dal ke banaya jata hai sometimes it is better for the earth why would i say that because it is reusing the old stuff right and we are not inserting you know during the pro- long growing period we are not using unnecessarily water we are not dumping chemicals like pesticides etc into the earth right and when we use it as a mono material mono material mono means one to so mono material ki tarah jab hum usko use karte to we can recycle it endlessly means hame pata hai isme sirf polyester hai to hum usko melt karenge जो आपका है ना इवन जो आपकी पेट बॉटल्स है ना आपका वो आल चलियो आगे सी वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट से जो मिलती है रिसाइकल्ड प्लास्टिक बॉटल है ना जैसे आपकी जीन्स के ऊपर लिखा होता है आई एम मेड आउट ऑफ योर कोक बॉटल और योर पेट बॉटल सो है ना पॉली इथाइलिन जो टर्पथेलेट है ये आपके पेट बॉटल्स है सो वट इज हैपनिंग विद दीज इज दैट ये आपके सिस्टम में एंडलेसली दे कैन कीप गोइंग राइट जो हमने पहले मैंने आपसे बात करी थी क्रेडल टू क्रेडल राइट सो दे आर बेटर सिर्फ ऐसा नहीं सोचना है कि कॉटन एंड इको फाइबर्स आर दी ओनली गुड फाइबर्स बट द ओनली क्राइटेरिया इज जब हम उसको खरीदें तो वी शुड सी दैट उसके ऊपर सर्फेस डेकोरेशन है ना सर्फेस डेकोरेशन क्या होती है कढ़ाई हो गई सिप्पी सितारे लग गए तो वो ना हो क्योंकि फिर उसको उतारने में लेबर लगेगी एंड पीपल are doing production for you know uh, profit 
तो अगर उसको टाइम लगेगा रिपील करने में उतारने में लेबर कॉस्ट बढ़ेगी तो पीपल विल नॉट डू इट सो आप इसका मतलब कह रहे हैं कि मैम कह रहे हैं कि हम सर्फेस डेकोरेशन ना करें नो no. मैं ये बिल्कुल नहीं कह रही देर आर यू नो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सर्फेस डेकोरेशन विच कैन बी डन विदाउट एडिंग मटीरियल लाइक लेजर कटिंग राइट क्रिएटिंग टेक्स्चर्स लाइक लेस राइट सो उसमें कोई एडिशन हमें नहीं करनी पड़ती है ओके देन वी कैन हैव टाई एंड डाई कर दिया है ना टेक्स्चर डाइंग कर दी सो द फैब्रिक लुक्स प्रिटी सर्फेस डाइंग की बट हमने कोई एडिशनल धागा मेटल कोई और चीज एड नहीं की सो एज कंज्यूमर्स लेट्स डिमांड दीज थिंग्स राइट विच आर गुड फॉर दी अर्थ है ना विच आर सेंसिबल बाइंग so dyeing is important pay heed or die ab maine dyeing d y e hai aur d i e means mar jayenge itne harmful chemicals release karta hai right so synthetic dyes ke bahut no, fayde hame lagte hain bahut because it, it gives us vivid bright colors so many colors hai na in greens there will be 1000 colors in uh, you know whatever so many so many endless choices we have but for natural dyes there is very limited color shades but then we have to understand that it is not good for our health because is cancer nice hum log keh rahe hain hum kyu pata nahi aajkal itni bimari badh gayi itne cancer badh gaye why that is happening because all these synthetic dyes are going into our water systems right so we have to concentrate on eco dyeing i'll rush through this because i mean so many of you are young uh, students so we have to bus ensure as uh, we have to read the care labels and try to understand that whatever is being whatever we are buying let's learn to read the care labels ke isme heavy metals to nahi hai jaise aapko pata hai petrol ko humne stop kiya kyunki wo jo lead ke sath tha hai na lead kya tha heavy metal tha it was causing so much disease hai na especially cancer so we are now asking for lead free but isme as a sensible buyer you need to understand this ke kai bar wo log kya karte hain lead free to kar diya lekin option jo substitute diya wo kaisa hai uske kya uh, you know repercussions hain kya wo uh, matlab is a better or is b better to agar b better hai to wo better hi hona chahiye ye na ho ke wo hamare aankh ko to theek rakh raha hai lekin kaan ko kharab kar raha hai do you understand what i'm trying to say so the substitute should not be just for the sake of the substitute right so abhi kya ho raha hai there are dying technologies for the future right abhi we have to understand as consumers hame ye cheeze padhni hai samajhni hai tab buying karni ke ek bar ki dying se kitne toxic chemicals aa rahe hain pani mein 72 toxic chemicals are coming into the uh, because of uh, water supply fresh water because of textile dyeing राइट सो अब मैंने तीन चार एग्जांपल्स आपको दिए जो न्यू टेक्निक्स हैं जिसमें पानी नहीं यूज हो रहा डाइंग के लिए हाउ अमेजिंग इज दैट राइट सॉल्ट फ्री डाइंग कॉटन फैब्रिक्स पे क्या हो रही है उसमें चार्ज क्रिएट कर देते हैं फैब्रिक में सो पॉजिटिव चार्ज होता है और हमेशा जो डाई होता है उसके अंदर नेगेटिव चार्ज होता है एंड वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड चार्ज राइट सो बिकॉज ऑफ द अट्रैक्शन इलेक्ट्रिकल अट्रैक्शन यू नो दैट ऑपोजिट चार्जेस अट्रैक्ट ही चार्जर सो डाई बड़ी इजिली उसके ऊपर अटैच हो जाती है कलर्स ज्यादा विविड आते हैं बेटर आते हैं राइट सो इट इज अ पेटेंटेड टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय डाउ केमिकल्स राइट इट इज कमिंग अप इन अ बिग वे देन इट इज वॉटरलेस डाइंग और ड्राई डाई फैब्रिक्स इसमें क्या हो रहा है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो गैस है उसको यूज किया जा रहा है राइट right? और उसके थ्रू डाइंग की जा रही है सो so, और वो डाई वापस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सिस्टम में आती जा रही है इट इज इंडस्ट्रियल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नॉट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वी हैव राइट like we have industrial oxygen also right so this daiku company from netherlands is working intensively in this it is a patented system right and soon everybody will have it so we won't need to spoil our water so we need to ask for this as a consumer ki mujhe us dai wale kapde chahiye jo jo mere dharti ko nuksan nahi kar rahe jo toxic chemicals mere pani hawa mein nahi chhod rahe नेक्स्ट इज द एयर डाई टेक्नोलॉजी इसमें पानी की जगह किसको यूज किया जा रहा है एयर को एयर को प्रेशराइज किया जाता है फैब्रिक के अंदर विद द कलर लोड और ये कलर एप कंपनी है कैलिफोर्निया की विच इज डूइंग दिस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी 
सो एज बायर्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड डिमांड दिस जैसे मैंने आपको बताया पेटा ने कितना फोर्स किया तो बिग फैशन हाउसेस हैड टू स्टॉप यूजिंग फर लेदर यू नो अदर थिंग्स सो सिमिलरली वी कैन फोर्स कंपनीज वी कैन आस्क देम टू स्टॉप यूजिंग हार्मफुल वाटर बेस्ड डाइज Similarly, printing आपको बताया है ना प्रिंटिंग में वी हैव टू गो इको फिनिशिंग आपको पता है सर्फेस है ना उसको कपड़ा फिनिश लगे आयर्न लगे है ना वेरियस फिनिशेज हम देते हैं उसको सो आई विल नॉट गोइंग टू द डिटेल्स दे ऑल हैव टू बी इको आई विल शेयर दिस पीपीटी विद लवलीन मैम एंड शी कैन शेयर विद ऑल ऑफ यू तो आपको इन डेप्थ आप इसमें पढ़ सकते हैं पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड एंड आई थिंक सो एवरीबडी शुड बी इंटरेस्टेड नाउ the next point as a buyer which we need to understand is green washing what is green washing green washing kya hota hai ke hamari aankhon pe hara hara parda dal diya abhi consumers have become sensible hai na maine aap aapne lecture lagaya abhi aap 10 din se laga rahe hain aap aur hai na 22 days lecture lagayenge you will be very very aware right jaise aap pani bachate hain hai na you are very conscious now आप इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेव करते हैं यू आर कॉन्शियस फ्यूचर सिटीजन तो अभी उसका कंपनी क्या फायदा उठाते हैं वो ना झूठ बोल रहे हैं देर आर एक्चुअली नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग तो वो हमारी आंखों के सामने एक हरा पर्दा ग्रीन व्हाइट वॉश होता है ना वो ग्रीन वॉश कर रहे हैं है ना हमारी आंखों के सामने एंड दे आर डिसीविंग अस धोखा दे रहे हैं हमें और वो मतलब जो लॉ में लूप होल्स होते हैं उनका फायदा उठा के और वेग टर्म्स है ना जो हमें समझ नहीं आते या मिसलीडिंग एग्जाम्पल से हमें शो करने की कोशिश करते हैं दैट वी आर ग्रीन सो लेट्स बी अवेयर सिटीजन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आर वी बाइंग इज इट गुड फॉर माय अर्थ इज इट गुड फॉर द प्लैनेट इज इट गुड फॉर द बायोडाइवर्सिटी ये देखिए ये ये ऐसे तरीके के जो लोगोज आपको दिखते हैं हंड्रेड परसेंट प्योर सर्टिफाइड टिक लगा दिया ग्रीन में बायो 100% परसेंट ऑर्गेनिक हंड्रेड परसेंट इको फ्रेंडली नेचुरल हंड्रेड परसेंट दीज आर ऑल मिसलीडिंग फॉल्स लेबल्स दीज आर ऑल इन करेक्ट लेट्स बी अवेयर अब मैंने एक तरफ मिसलीडिंग लेबल्स लगाए हैं और दूसरी तरफ जो जेनुअनली सर्टिफाइड गवर्नमेंट लेबल्स हैं सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज राइट क्रूल्टी फ्री में होगा कि ये एनिमल्स के ऊपर टेस्टेड नहीं है है ना फेयर ट्रेड होगा कि जो इसमें लोग इन्वॉल्व हैं जो जो अर्थ की सस्टेनेबिलिटी से रिलेटेड हैं जो लेबर इसमें काम कर रही है उनको सही पैसे दिए गए हैं राइट सो एवरीबडी हैज बीन पेड द फेयर शेयर ऑफ मनी बिकॉज दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सस्टेनेबल बाइंग राइट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू यू नो फ्लीस एनी बडी सो so all these we have to on the right side you can see the all the labels the trustworthy labels uske niche aap dekh sakte hain aur dusri taraf are all misleading false labels which hold no value these are the various marks made by the various governments or commercial organizations which we can take help from to understand right so let us become aware wo maine ek side pe wo dikhaya na जो लेबल लगा हुआ है है ना सो लेबल्स पढ़ने सीखे उस पर कोई बढ़ा चढ़ा के और एथिकल या सस्टेनेबल uh, वो ना लिखी हो जेनुन हो है ना गलत मलत टर्मिनोलॉजी जैसे मैंने आपको दिखाया इको बायो है ना बिना मतलब के लिखा देर इज नथिंग इन इट ऑर्गेनिक विदाउट एनी दिस थिंग राइट सो या कोई ऐसे इमेजेस डाले हो या जैसे कोक को रेड की जगह ग्रीन में कर दो इट्स गुड फॉर दी अर्थ ओनली कलर डजेंट मेक एनी थिंग ग्रीन राइट it has to truly be green it has to genuinely be green right so let's stop the lies and not get green washed let's support these kind of labels ye kaun se labels hain wo keh rahe don't buy this jacket kitni interesting cheez hai wo ek cheez badi si last mein ye patagonia company ka advertisement hai so the last thing that they've written is reimagine reimagine is imagination ko रीइमेजिन करिए कि डू यू रियली नीड दिस राइट सो अब मैं कहती हूँ थ्री आवर्स नहीं है देर आर नाइन आवर्स नाउ उसमें एक रिपेयर कैन यू सी रिपेयर लिखा है सो रिपेयर योर ओल्ड थिंग्स उसमें हो सकता है देर माइट बी जस्ट अ बटन मिसिंग राइट और मे बी द जिप इज नॉट फंक्शनिंग प्रॉपरली सो रिपेयर इज अनादर आर रीइमेजिन यस 
think how you can wear this thing differently in a different way so it's not always necessary that i have to go to a party so let me buy something new so that is the most sensible thing to do right for your earth for your biodiversity don't buy don't buy if you don't need it yes reimagine find out things which are already there in your wardrobe right so this is a beautiful concept now ye teen jo maine lagaye hain side pe the ecometric calculator the nike considered index or the hig index they are all available on the internet and with their help you can find out whether a company is truly sustainable or not you can you must you can nahi you must visit the websites of big brands all the brands that you buy and see their lca lc is life cycle assessment ke wo jo kapda ab tak pahuncha hai uski life cycle kya truly sustainable thi har step sustainable tha sustainable ka arth hai simple bhasha mein beta that it should be it should go it should be helpful for the future generation it should sustain जो हमारे रिसोर्सेज हैं वो बढ़े चाहे ना पर एटलीस्ट जिस लेवल पे हैं उस लेवल पे हम अपनी फ्यूचर जनरेशन को हैंड ओवर करें और अभी तो हमने इतना नुकसान कर दिया टोल्ड यू वी हैड यूज्ड वन थर्टी परसेंट सो वी हैड टू वी हैव टू रिवर्स दिस राइट वी हैव टू बी मोर सस्टेनेबल एंड ब्रिंग बैक अर्थ टू थर्टी ईयर्स पहले वाली अर्थ राइट so this is what i was talking already about with you ke jab sensible buying karni hai to fair trade ka nishan bhi dekhna hai ki jin logo ne mehnat kari hai jin artisans ne workers ne they also get a fair share right so that is that comes under sensible buying organic cotton maine aapko bataya hai na aapko iska mark bhi dikhaya gots ka hai na global organic textile standard ka so we need to understand but we need to understand all natural is not equal to organic hum kehte hain organic products se bahut acche hain hai na but kya sare natural products bhi acche hain nahi kai cheeze natural hain lekin unko itni treatment karni pad rahi hai hai na unko itne chemicals dalne pad rahe hain taki wo hamare use ke layak ho like leather is natural is it not leather is very very natural it is a natural product but उसमें इतना लंबा प्रोसेस है केमिकल्स डालने का टैनिंग करने का है ना उसको आपके रेडी प्रोडक्ट बनाने के लिए सो ऑल नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स आर नॉट ऑर्गेनिक सो वी हैंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीज आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड नेचुरल डज नॉट नेसेसरली मीन गुड राइट तो एज अ बायर एज अ सेंसिबल बायर वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ We always say के design for durability वाली चीजों में invest कीजिए not the things which are designed for obsolence. Like obsolence word आया obsolete में से obsolete होता है पुराना हो गया बेकार हो गया है ना वी लिविंग इन दैट इंडस्ट्री इन दैट एज एक फोन खरीदा अगले साल वो obsolete हो गया ओहो नो 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 नेक्स्ट लॉन्च हो गया वी नीड दैट है ना टीवी लिया अच्छा भला टीवी है अच्छा भला चल रहा है नथिंग हैज हैपन टू इट व्हाट डू वी वांट टू डू नो 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 दिस इज आउटडेटेड न्यू वॉच मॉडल आ गया वॉच चाहिए न्यू ज्वेलरी डिजाइन आ गया चाहिए फैशन इंडस्ट्री तो इज ऑल अबाउट चेंज है ना बट ऑस्कर वाइल्ड ने बोला कि फैशन इंडस्ट्री क्या कर रही है इट इज सो मतलब दिसिंग वो कहते हैं वो इतना बुरा है क्या इतना भद्दा चीज हम बनाते हैं कि वो छह महीने के बाद हमको चेंज करना पड़ जाता है Hey, all of us are filled with this dilemma. You know, the wardrobes are full and nothing to wear. Why nothing to wear? Because the fashion has changed, right? Or the things are made of such poor quality that we use them once, twice, thrice, and they break, or they do not get repaired, right? So, अभी आपने कोई फर्नीचर लिया वो उसकी टांग टूट गई ये रिपेयर नहीं हो सकता जी ऐसा जॉइंट लगा था तो नया ही लेना पड़ेगा, right? टीवी हमारे यू नो हाउस में देर वॉज एन इलेक्ट्रिकल शॉर्ट सर्किट सो द मदर बोर्ड गॉट यू नो स्पॉइल्ड इवन जस्ट आफ्टर वन ईयर ऑफ यूज एंड वी वेंट टू गेट इट रिपेयर दिस इज जितने का मदर बोर्ड आएगा मैम उतने में तो नया टीवी आएगा पांच सात हजार और डाल दीजिए कैन यू बिलीव इट सो इट वॉज डिजाइन फॉर ऑप्सलेंस के खत्म हो जाए रिपेयर ना हो सके नाउ डेज वी बाय वॉशिंग मशीन एंड दे जस्ट विद इन फाइव सिक्स सेवन ईयर्स दे आर फिनिश्ड 
but we have older washing machines which are running for 20 years also doing good right so we have to understand invest in products which are of good quality chahe zara sa zyada spend kariye but buy products which will last long very long which are durable invest in durability and not quick fashion fast fashion is the term that we use for this right so don't succumb to fast fashion now we were talking about the harmful effects of the industry hai na dry clean karate fata fat dhone ki jagah hum kahenge assi the dry clean karane kapde kyu dry clean karane yes so as a buyer investing things which don't need dry cleaning so never buy products which say dry clean only because they have uh, you know uh, uh, cancer causing uh, um, chemicals in them so they are not uh, good for us yes tetrachloro ethylene right so it is a carcinogen other allergens are there allergens kya hote hain jo hume allergy create karte hain like asthma hai na you can't aap um, jab aap dry clean product leke aate hain do you do you like that smell agar aapne car mein rakha hota you feel suddenly suffocated why do you feel suffocated because the chemicals used in it are not good for your skin eyes respiratory system at all even your reproductive problems are going to be there if you stay near these clothes right if you wear dry clean clothes so buy things which don't need dry clean at all which can be easily washed at home so go in for dry cleaning which is green dry cleaning if at all you have to get, get it done yes which is free from harmful chemicals which is good for our planet for the biodiversity this is what we are finding out right okay newborn babies right us newborn babies 232 toxic chemicals were found in the umbilical cord right pregnant women ke under 90% pfcs and so many other uh, phthalates and what not were found yes so how many uh, i read this article which says the blood stream of a newborn has a uh, mobile chip jitna plastic already uske andar hai kyunki wo mother ke umbilical cord se pahunch chuka hai so what are we buying what are we doing detergent hum use kar rahe hain softener use kar rahe hain jab hum kapde dho rahe hain kyunki washing machine mein ek ek dhakkan sab dalne mein kya farak padta hai so these are the products to avoid cleaning agents jinse aapko suffocation hoti hai sir dukhta hai they that is your body trying to tell you that they are not good for you they are not good for the earth right so avoid all this so what should the companies now be doing right companies can also play a role because it is after all they are producing we demand but they can also take the initiative right so there are so many companies which can you know convince their stakeholders make policies you know एंड गवर्नमेंट स्ट्रक्चर के साथ जैसे आपको एक आपको बताया होगा सी एस आर है ना कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का को जेनुनली करें सिर्फ आई वॉश के लिए ना करें राइट सो सो मेनी इंडियन एंड फॉरन कंपनीज फैशन ब्रांड्स आर गोइंग इन फॉर दिस सो डेफिनेटली ऑल ऑफ अस कैन वर्क टूगेदर एंड यू नो बिकम सेंसिबल प्रोड्यूसर्स एज वेल एज सेंसिबल बायर्स एंड कंज्यूमर्स सो this is what i was talking about that companies should not just work about think about the profit they if at all they were obviously it's a business they have to earn profit but they should give back to the uh, you know people the society and of course we should buy things which are good for our planet that is they have low carbon footprint they have low emissions they decrease pollution and they are uh, they are free of conflict Uh, materials right the red uh, mordant list the harmful you know list of chemicals the carcinogenic chemicals they should not be there right and definitely it should be good for all the people all the stakeholders involved from the manufacturer to the worker to the consumer now this is the most important slide of my whole presentation what is it say it talks about the butterfly effect you know uh, i used to in my college whenever i order juice it comes in a paper glass or a plastic glass so i always send my cup to you know uh, this thing so my you know uh, people would say why do you carry your cup 
and or you carry your glass why don't you take that paper cup so i say because it's good for the earth i don't want to dump plastic or uh, you know cut trees to make paper glass every day so this is se kya farak padega aap ke akele se kya farak padega but aap sochi agar 365 days mein se main 200 days wo juice peeti hu to ek saal mein maine 200 cups stock kiye dustbin mein jaane se aur पांच सालों में हो सकता है इट कंबाइंस टू फॉर्म वन ट्री सो अपने इफेक्ट को छोटा मत समझिए अपनी कंट्रीब्यूशन को छोटा मत समझिए इस पे क्या लिखा है वील ऑल रीड इट टूगेदर प्लीज रीड इट इन योर माइंड रीड इट लाउडली वेर एवर यू आर इन योर रूम्स इन योर क्लास रूम इन वेर एवर यूर सिटिंग प्लीज रीड इट विद मी द फ्लैपिंग ऑफ अ बटरफ्लाईज विंग्स कैन कॉज अ हरी केन हरी केन समझते हैं टोर्नेडो का भाई है ना तूफान आ सकता है ऑन दी अदर साइड ऑफ दी वर्ल्ड एवो वंडर्ड हाउ समथिंग सो स्मॉल कैन बी रीजन फॉर अ क्योस तो अगर क्योस हो सकता है सिर्फ जेंटल फ्लटरिंग से तो अगर हम सब अपना अपना कंट्रीब्यूशन करें लेट्स डू आर स्मॉल बिट एक एक बूंद गिरती है बाल्टी में पानी की सुबह तक देखते हैं बाल्टी भर गई होती है सो so, मेरे सिर्फ इको प्रोडक्ट्स खरीदने से मेरे सिर्फ प्लास्टिक बैग ना लेने से क्लॉथ बैग लेके जाने के लिए से क्या फर्क पड़ेगा ऐसा ही बोलते हैं ना हम फर्क पड़ेगा इट विल मेक अ डिफरेंस सो इफ एट ऑल यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ मैसेज बैक प्लीज टेक दिस मैसेज बैक अगर आप प्लास्टिक में शॉपिंग नहीं कर रहे आप रिफ्यूज कर रहे हैं प्लास्टिक बैग आप रिफ्यूज कर रहे हैं टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स आप रिफ्यूज कर रहे हैं बाइंग एनिमल प्रोडक्ट्स देन यू आर मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस इट विल चेंज द अर्थ एंड इट डज मैटर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम फॉर दिस इंसाइटफुल प्रेजेंटेशन आई वॉज एक्चुअली ग्लू टू द स्क्रीन Uh, so uh, now we will be watching a short film on biological diversity act 2002 uh, the act was enacted in 2002 it aims at the co conservation of biological resources managing its sustainable use and enabling fair and equitable sharing benefits arising of the use and knowledge of biological resources with the local communities The film has been produced by Giz in partnership with NBA as part of an Indo-German collaborative project. I would request Mr. Manni to please share the screen. The Biodiversity Act simply explained. Let me explain it for you. Let's imagine a pharmaceutical company that is in the process of developing a revolutionary new medicine. This drug has the potential to help millions of people suffering from alzheimer's disease a disorder that destroys memory and other important mental capabilities in the elderly however the medicine is not based on synthetic chemicals manufactured in a lab it is based on the brahmi herb one that we have all seen in our backyards brahmi is a household name in india famous for its properties to treat neurological disorders it has been used in traditional system of ayurveda for thousands of years as a memory booster and a brain sharpener india holds a sovereign right over brahmi found in the country as well as over the traditional knowledge associated with it The sovereign right allows a country to fully assert its exclusive entitlement over the natural wealth and resources found within its boundaries. This right of a country was recognized in 1992 when the United Nations adopted the CBD, the Convention on Biological Diversity. The CBD is a landmark agreement that has been adopted by 196 countries including India. It addresses all aspects of biological diversity that is genetic resources, species diversity and ecosystems in their entirety. It also introduced the principle of fair and equitable benefit sharing 
for access to and use of genetic resources. In 2002, the Parliament of India enacted the Biological Diversity Act. In line with the goals of CBD, India's Biodiversity Act has three objectives. The conservation of biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of the benefits arising out of the utilization of biological resources or in short access and benefit sharing or even shorter ABS. The Biodiversity Act has established a three-tier structure for implementation. The NBA, the National Biodiversity Authority is responsible for all matters at the national level. The SBBs the state biodiversity boards are responsible at the state level and the BMCs, the biodiversity management committees have been established at every local body. The BMC committee consists of seven members who possess knowledge of biodiversity and they are registered in the local voters list. The act recognizes local communities at custodians of biological resources as well as the traditional knowledge and practices associated with them. How does this act work in practice? Anyone who wants to use biological resources from India needs to obtain due permits. For example, if a company wants to use Brahmi leaves, it must seek permission from the NBA or the SBBs depending on its legal status. These permissions will be in form of a benefit sharing agreement or an ABS agreement. The BMC of the region from where the resources have been collected will receive 95% of this ABS amount for conserving and ensuring sustainable use of biological resources within its area. To summarize, individuals or companies such as pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, nutritional supplements and others who want to use species of plants, animals or even microorganisms or the traditional knowledge of the peoples of India all require prior permission. Only certain biological resources listed under the category of normally traded as commodities are exempted from this rule. India's Biodiversity Act lays the foundation for sustainable use of biodiversity and protection of traditional knowledge to meet the needs and aspirations of present and future generations. It does not stop companies or researchers from using biological resources. Rather, it provides legal certainty through a pick, a prior informed consent and the mat the mutually agreed terms. There are strict penalties for illegal procurement. The National Biodiversity Authority and the State Biodiversity Boards are authorized to enforce this process at their respective levels. The Forest Department has an important role to play in the implementation of the Biodiversity Act. Forest officers, not below the rank of range officers, are authorized to file complaints under the Act. India has been implementing the Biodiversity Act to strengthen its conservation efforts and to provide fair and equitable benefits to the local communities in return for any biological resources or traditional knowledge provided to individuals or companies. The effective implementation of the Biodiversity Act will ultimately lead to the conservation and sustainable use of biological treasures and traditional wisdom of India.
thank you for watching uh, so this was a short film on biological diversity act we will be talking about access and benefit sharing in detail in our expert talk on may 18th so now we can take few questions uh, ma'am if you allow us sure most welcome yeah so dear participants whoever whoever wants to ask any question please raise your hand we will unmute you any questions please raise your hand okay uh, there is a question okay. from miss balwinder kaur ma'am please unmute yourself good afternoon good afternoon ma'am you know I was, it is such a lovely uh, you know interaction i mean it was a, such a wonderful uh, ppt you made and itni sari itni sari knowledge i openers i mean cotton bhi uh, carbon footprinting pe hai pesticide i was not knowing it because we were promoting tula as well and uh, we were about to start the project ke ha hum weaving mein aaye kuch aisa tha and uh, now i just can uh, feel and uh, last slide was really really uh, butterfly effect wali to you nailed it thank you thank you uh, <laughs> Yes, I just want to know. Uh, एक तो अपनी जो स्ले वाला करा था ना दैट इज अमेंट्री दैट्स अवेलेबल ऑन द इंस्टाग्राम मैम इंस्टाग्राम एंड कैन यू शेयर द लिंक आई विल आई गिव इट सेंड इट टू यू नो लवलीन मैम एंड देन शील शेयर एक ये हो गया और एक आपकी स्लाइड थी ना जो दिस अबाउट द लेबल्स है ना I just want to make uh, aware of the G generation. I mean, this generation they oh. must know about these labels because they, they are going to. उनको पता होना चाहिए कि आप वो कैसे उनको ढूंढना है, कैसे उनपे काम करना है. तो I just want to learn about that thing on myself और बच्चों को उसमें हम डालेंगे. Happy now. Please share your presentation yes. with us. We will share in the group. yeah i would i would love to share it and because it should be a common resource i mean uh, you know my my phd and my copyrights everything is meaningful only if this message goes across and let me tell you please take my word for it this young generation is so uh, motivated they're so intelligent uh, you know i used to tell my uh, uh, children ke brush karte hue pani band kar diya karo to mujhe laga maine bahut siyani baat ki hai I was washing vegetables one day. They they started practicing that. I was washing vegetables one day, and they said, "Mama, जब आप vegetable को हिला रहे हो तो clean कर रहे होते हम रगड़ के साफ करते हैं ना because of pesticide. आप तब क्यों नहीं tap बंद करते? I was like, "You're right. कि brushing के समय अगर waste हो रहा है, तो अभी भी तो waste हो रहा है. So just because the TV told us कि brushing के समय waste करना है, and sometimes we overlook के बार बार बंद करेंगे, बार बार on करेंगे, but that does make a difference so i request all of you so many of you would be you know engaging your time in washing something or the other hai na all men and women we do some kind of washing so wo beach wala jo tap band karna hai that is very important we must do it and ji uh, so any other question please raise your hand any other question no i hope there are no more questions and uh, dear children uh, i would like to announce that we are organizing a poster making competition on the theme biodiversity so the last date of submitting your poster is may 16 2022 the link for submission and guidelines shall be shared soon so please start making your posters and the results will be announced on may 22nd so if there are still any questions we can take one or other like one or two questions no no questions so uh, now i would like to thank dr harpreet kaur thank you so much ma'am for accepting our invite and sharing this informative and captivating presentation it was a great learning for us all i'm sure it will bring a lot of changes in our lives and we hope to hear you in future too and thank you all the teacher coordinators principals and students for joining us in today's action
Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Lavleen. Pleasure being there always with Science City. Thank yeah. you so much.